Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to do conditional formatting across an entire row just based on the values of a single column. And the trick to that is a custom formula and absolute references. Let's take a look. All right, so the sample data we're looking at is a basic list of projects and what we want to do is highlight the whole row based on that status we see in column D. So to do that, we're of course going to go to format conditional formatting and we'll start by changing the range to be the whole range of all of the data so really anything in columns A through D uh, we know we don't need the header column so we're just gonna skip that so we'll highlight those okay and we'll see that it's just gonna highlight everything to start because it's defaulting it to if the format cell is not empty but we don't want to do that so we're gonna change this to custom formula now the way custom formulas work is it's looking for basically a true false statement. So if it's true, it wants to highlight it. If it's false, it won't highlight it. So we need to create that. Um, what we're gonna do in this case is start with an equal and we are going to reference our column D by starting with the first row that we wanted to look at. So in this case, we started our apply range at row two. So we're gonna start here at row two as well. So we'll do D2. And then we'll say equals and since we're looking at text we will start with quotes and we'll type in the text we want it to highlight so in this case let's start with trying in progress so we'll type in progress exactly how it is in our sheet and it will accept it now you'll see when you do that it only highlights that first column a it is highlighting the correct rows but we want it to highlight the entire row and to do that all you need to do is absolutely reference the column D so we'll put a dollar sign in front of it and it highlights the whole row now if we click done uh, we can just continue to add more of these so in this case we probably want to add more we will do the same uh, apply to range and use the same concept with the custom formula to reference a different value and highlight that a different color and now we will see that if we add a new row, uh, it will honor that conditional formatting because we used our apply range across all the rows from A to D. So if we just type in some info real quick and we change this to delayed, we will see it will automatically highlight red as we expect it to. So that's it. It's really that easy. You can, of course, combine this with other types of formulas in that custom formula. So rather than equaling a text, you can do greater than, equal to, less than, um, some other values. So that's it. It's a really simple formula, and I hope this was helpful. See you next time.